Hi, this is Mindy Nichol answering your biggest real estate questions here in Florida. And today's topic is what you need to know before buying land in Florida. Before we get into that, I would love to have your help to get this information out to more people. So like and subscribe to my channel. biggest questions people want to know is what do I need to know before buying land? Having done this myself recently, I can tell you five things you need to know. The first thing you need to ask is what is the size of the lot and what setbacks does the county require? What many people don't realize is you can't always build on every lot you see and what you have in mind might not fit on the lot that you're, you're considering purchasing. So for example, the lot I purchased, the setback restrictions are 25 feet in the front that I cannot build on, eight feet on each side, and 10 feet in the rear that I cannot build on. So that's really important. That's for St. John's County. Each county will be different and each zone will be different. So you need to find out what the setbacks are to determine if you can build what you wanna build on the lot. The second thing is what is the zoning? Every piece of land is zoned differently. We're not just talking about residential and commercial, which is a zone as well, but within that, there are different zones. So for example, the, the zone residential, and if it's RS1, RS2, RS3, whatever the zone is, will determine the setbacks associated with that and possibly other things as well. The third thing you need to know, especially in Florida, is what is the flood zone. FEMA has a map which lists all of the flood zones. There are about 10 flood zones in total. And um, you need to know what your lot is. And that will determine the insurance you pay um, and also whether that's mandatory or not mandatory for flood insurance. And then um, it will give you an idea, should there be flooding, you know, how serious could it possibly be? So the survey um, may tell you this information or the county will definitely have this information. The fourth thing you need to ask is, has a survey been done? Sometimes your agent will be able to pull this off the MLS if there is a survey or ask the listing agent um, about it. But um, in some cases, the survey has not been done in which case that you would have to probably do it yourself um, at some point if you wanna develop that lot. The fifth question that I always ask is, is there an HOA? What are the rules around the, the lot? So some lots you'll see an HOA, it is with a restricted community that they'll have rules and restrictions. Sometimes they'll even give you a timeline in which you need to build by. And so if it doesn't have an HOA, then you're pretty much free to do nothing with it or you know, build at, at your leisure. So um, that's something to know. Obviously with an HOA, you will need to pay the HOA fees, which are generally monthly. Uh, so you wanna double check what that's gonna be. If you'd like to start a land search or if you've purchased land and you have other questions, let me know how I can help. Thanks so much for watching Ask Mindy, answering your biggest questions in real estate here in Florida. If you have a question you would like answered, post it below and I will see you next time.